Warzone Season 3.5 Reloaded is finally here, and they brought back a very special weapon of my Call left. of Duty career. The bomb getting defused. Oh, Attach is on it. He's on it. Facento, he's gonna fall. And Attach is gonna get the defuse. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, your winners for the 2015 Call of Duty Championship. And that weapon is right here on your screen. It is. It is the BAL 27. It is beautiful. I have it interstellar already. We used it in multiplayer. We have yet to use it in a Warzone game. This is the first one. And this is the gun that won me a world championship back in 2015 when I was a dinosaur. With that being said, let's see how this gun is in Warzone. I'm super excited and let's go, baby. And just like that, we are dropping in. Shout out to my amazing editor for a awesome door transition, which I knew you already did because you always take the opportunity to do so. And now I have to get some kills to make this a good gameplay to edit because if not oh okay that's just not how i wanted to start off i really wanted to just get my loadout my key card nothing's working and mike 420 took me out it is what it is but all good we know what to do we're gonna reset we're chilling we're chilling so what we're gonna do here is land right there because there is normally a little stash with some money there and hopefully no one's opened it give me some money Oh, nice. Yeah, I got zero dollars from that. So this is a good gameplay so far. I'm really loving it. But we got to work to get this loadout as fast as possible for you guys so we can make sure we're doing the right stuff. So let's go get ourselves some kills. I, get, oh, I hear someone on me. Oh, my God. There's so many people on me. Slide. Is this guy running? No, what? Bob Marley just smoked me. This is oh, what he does. My this is what he flipping God. does. Two deaths in a row. Not a hot start. You guys know the drill too. One game. Everybody knows the rules. I need to go for a bow win. And I'm not backing out. You guys see the good on this channel. And you also see the bad, baby. But I need to land. And I need to land safe. I don't have a landing thing here. What about if we just got a scavenger? We'll just go with the old rank play strat. We're almost top 250 in ranked by now. So maybe we just do some rank play in regular rebirth pubs. And see like kind of how it gets us. So... Got eight seconds left. I can last for eight seconds, I think. Hopefully, you know, I've done it before. What do you mean by that? Got some supply drop boxes over here. That's 6K as well. We should be able to get ourselves a load out here if I'm able to climb here. So let's go. Gonna hop over this. Yeah. Get ourselves another scav box. And then we have one more. Wait, did I just... Did they make that really small? I swear that scavenger thing's really small. It used to be bigger. Do you guys see what I'm talking about on the left side? I feel like they made the UI of that really tiny. I feel like that's a change that I was not aware of. Do you like that change? I don't think I like that change. I don't think I like that change. Let me know in the comments below. I don't think I like that change though. But regardless, it was good enough to get us a loadout. So we're dropping this loadout right here. Let's go. And now, like I was saying before, as we get this loadout, I have only used the ballad multiplayer to level it up, get the attachments, and of course go for the interstellar camo for this awesome video that we are making. But now we have to obviously give it a fair test in Warzone. I will say I'm a little bit skeptical on how good this gun's going to be in Warzone because it was felt kind of weak in multiplayer, but I've also had times where the guns felt weak and it's actually really good. So I can't even trust my myself fully and here goes nothing i will be overkilling it with the bp50 they look very similar so i'm sure i'll mess that up not bad shots right there whoa oh whoa 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 what are you doing buddy what are you doing but i'm sure i'll have the wrong gun out here eventually can i not reload there there i'm confused why can't i sprint and reload right now hello i'm con what's going on something's wrong something is off and we're gonna get to the bottom of it before this video ends let me let me get into some cover here is there like a setting i have wrong search settings reload prince cancels reload on combat combat behaviors wait yeah no we don't want that on we want that off wait what i'm confused hold up let's just let's just get back to frying the lobby real quick i think that might have been a setting that they automatically changed like you know like with an update i'm not too sure but i hear a guy i want to say above me this guy, oh, we're going for that. We're going for that right here. We have Mountaineer. We're going to fly on this guy. This guy's dead. This guy just got his loadout. Oh, that would have been a nasty transfer. All right, this has been a weird start. I'm not going to lie. It's been a weird start. We have someone pinging in this game right now, right there. I think that's the guy I just killed. Oh, never mind. He's above me. Did he just land on me? All right, there's people fighting in here. Apologies for the mishap here. We're trying to deal with some technical difficulties, I guess you could call it. Oh my god. There's a guardian there. I'm scared. But as I was saying, you know, before we just had a whole meltdown, I feel like this bow felt pretty weak in multiplayer. And that kind of scares me for Warzone because I really want this gun to be the meta. I'm not going to lie. Like, if we had a bow meta, 
I think the nostalgia of the Bow meta in general would just make me really happy. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for right now. And we don't have the stats out yet. I'm recording this before the stats are even out. Yeah, dude, I could have, you can reload and sprint. I'm not insane. I don't know. I could, I'm telling you, I, I'm recording this video anyway. Wait. I was just sprinting and reloading. No, I'm not. Something's wrong. I don't know. Maybe there's a glitch or something. Who knows? I am completely unaware if there is. So we're going to just make sure we're reloaded before some fights. And it's going to be a little bit harder to finesse. But we're still getting this win. Because everyone else is dealing with it most likely. Not just me. What's this guy doing? Gun has a little bit of vertical recoil. I'm not going to lie. Back in the day, it had recoil too. But not like this. But the iron sights, man, on this gun are beautiful. So I really do hope even if this gun doesn't make it the meta, I'm not really feeling it right now i'm not gonna lie i hope it does end up making a meta gotta hit a reload still i feel like i'm playing warzone 2 all over again we hear some footsteps under us oh my god i'm getting turned on i'm getting turned on we're stimming oh we're moving too fast for you buddy we're moving too fast for you eight thousand dollars let's get ourselves a uav let's get to it Let's just get to it. We have another guy above us. Bro, this is so annoying. Especially with auto tax sprint. This has to be, this has to be wrong. Oh. It didn't feel bad there. It didn't feel bad there, at least. It just feels a little bit recoily. It feels like right there, like, I feel like that range, that area, that mid-range is kind of where this gun feels like it's going to be best. Which is not something I love, to be honest with you. Alright, we're going to have to make this work here. guy right above me i'm terrified i am terrified i didn't mean to buy that mask everything i'm doing right now is wrong guys you're not watching my finest moment but i know most of you guys in the comments below really do appreciate when i post some of the my, my worst moments we still got eight kills though we can make this work but we have to get a loadout we have to get a loadout hold up we got to go buy ourselves one more loadout i'm going buy yourself are we gonna make it are we gonna make it slide yes all right, we got ourselves a loadie. We got the bow. One last chance to make this one a good run. Kind of love the guns that I have in my hands right now, but I haven't tried the new HRM too. But yeah, overall, dude, as you guys are watching this video too, I would love to hear what you guys think in general of just what the new season three and a half reloaded has kind of brought to us. Like, do you like the changes? Do we like the new guns? We do have some shotguns we're going to have to experiment with too, but like, what do, what do we think it so far? Because overall, I actually don't mind some of the changes. I think it's pretty cool. I saw there's some fog in Rebirth and some weather in Rebirth. I don't love that. I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm not going to lie. But we got to try and use this just one more time. This guy's landing in. All right. That felt pretty good. The only thing I'll say... Oh, I'm getting shot at. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. This gun has a lot of vertical recoil after like that initial like 10 bullets. It really starts to jump up. So we're going to have to make sure we are really pulling down on the stick. Like right there, that's a little bit harder of a shot than it needed to be. It's also a world where I'm just not used to this gun. But man, dude, those iron sights, man. Oh, come on, baby. We got 11 kills. We can do this. You're not going to snipe me in the face. There's no way. Oh, my God. There's a way. You just did it. I don't even have a self-revive. Why am I challenging that endgame? I'm pretty sure that's how I died last freaking game, too. I'm pretty sure that's how I died last solo I played on this YouTube channel. Holy shit. That is terrifying. There were two people fighting over here before I killed this guy. I think there should be one more. What's the chance this guy's still sniping up here? Eh, what a coward. I'm not scared of that guy. Ha ha. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. Oh, 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 oh. Throwing knife. Are we just staying low ground? Man, I want to pop a stim and push this guy, but I also want to be smart. I don't really know what to do. I see a shadow. I see your shadow. Oh, you're coughing. I'm on you. Oh. 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 Oh, my God. Jailbreak, we love that. We love that, baby. Hit a reload. Hold up. All right, they got to get back on the roof, though. We got to control some high ground if we want to yeah, win this game. There's three other people left and the jailbreak. We are going to have some people coming back. High ground will make it easier to shoot these people. In theory, at least. Is this a sniper, dude? Here he is. That's not the sniper. It's Bob Marley. That's my revenge. What's going on here? I don't know what that guy was doing, dude. I don't think that guy knew what he was doing. This guy's not playing. He's got to be AFK. Unbelievable shots out of me. Unbelievable. Die! We do hear some footsteps under us. We got some people on the boat and footsteps under us. How many are we playing? That's two people. That's We know where the last two are. Boat and under us. Boat and under us. Come on. We got to get ourselves a kill. There he is. Hold up. Oh, he's mounted. I don't want to fight that. Pop some plates here. We're good. I don't hear the guy under me anymore. Never mind. He's stomping around now. Still working on this recoil pattern here. 
Bro, this gun is so satisfying to shoot, man. Just wow. Hit a reload cheese. Got to stand still right now. All right. But yeah, that range right there, this gun feels good for. So I think it's going to be one of those things where it's going to be like a BP-50, where it's a good gun, but it's not going to be like the absolute meta just because it's kind of lacking like the recoil control long range. And that's just my first initial thought process of this gun. I really hope that that's not true, though, because I'm telling you, I really want this gun to be the number one gun here. Oh my gosh, bro. What a shot. That guy was so ready for that. That guy was so ready for that. We're going to have to chow from this way. Oh my god, that is the best player on planet Earth. I need to see this kill cam. That guy didn't miss a single bullet. What a shot. Second place, not first place. I think we won the last game that we played. He just wins the game and doesn't even, like, he leaves the game so early that he's just gone? What just happened? All right, well, GG's. I didn't get that win. But yeah, anyway, these were the attachments I was using. So now there's a bunch of different ways you want to break down this gun. And this is going to be a little bit longer of a segment than normal just because this gun is brand new. But this gun has a lot of vertical recoil. I'm going to show you all about it really quick. Maybe I start adding this a little bit more towards the end of most of my videos just for the educational purposes. But if you don't control the recoil on this gun, you can see right there it jumps up a lot. And it has a lot of vertical recoil it's pretty straight up for the most part and then it kind of goes back and forth it does like a little s curve but in general the vertical recoil d definitely jumps you can see like right here to these bullets there's a significant jump and then you can kind of feel it from like these right here so that's kind of where it gets weird with this weapon so when i was building the best bow loadout that you can build it definitely felt pretty strong and i definitely really did like the gun I have to experiment with it more to have a full opinion. So if you watch my streams, of course, check it out. But these are the attachments I threw on it for the same reason of recoil. So the Zem Compensator is good for vertical recoil. The Crown Barrel is going to give you that bullet velocity and range that you kind of really need on most assault rifles. And, you know, the bullet velocity, in my opinion, is just something that I like a lot. So I wanted to try that out. Maybe you want to use the recoil barrel like that. It does slow your ADS a lot, though. So I don't really know yet. We'll kind of figure it out on what the purpose of this gun really becomes. Probably going to make another video on it eventually. Bruin support grip. I know this is not the vertical recoil I was looking for, but that S curve does get a little bit more obnoxious if you don't have this on. So I just kind of kept this one on with it. And then the channel grip is just going to do 10, 10, 10, which horizontal and vertical is 10, where the stock that you can throw on it, which would be this one right here, is 1288. But I didn't even see this one right here. And this is the ardent stock, the tack stock. Hurts your sprint to fire, but the recoil gun kick is a lot. I'm going to throw that on actually for this really quick. This was 7, 7, but 29. I want to see what this looks like really quick. Hold up. All right. This is another way to build the gun. This feels a little bit more manageable. I'm not going to lie. But it still has some pretty crazy vertical recoil because that gun kick is one thing. The firing aim stability is nice on this. But in general, you still obviously only, you know, 7.7 7 or 29, 8.8. 8. I think the, the gun kick is not as important as some of the vertical recoil when it comes to obviously those stats. So I, this is what I was rocking right here. Regardless... You guys can build some stuff out. Drop them in the comments below of what you guys think. The bow was really fun so far. We didn't get a win with it yet. Make sure you guys are tuning into streams while I experiment more. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.